Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We got to, uh, well, it ain't going to last long. But when we see Portia doing something good, we try to promote her. We try to promote her, okay? Now, she has ambassadors now sporting out her Go Naked hair. And they're doing it. They're making it do what it do. I don't know because I've never worn um, weave before. Uh, well, yes, I have. I know I have some in my 20s. But it is there in my head. But maybe two days I rip that shit out because it's too hot. But anyway, Portia is sitting, letting her ambassadors and her husband to be. He's working out. I don't know how that video clip got in there because I'm working on a video with that. He is working his ass off. Well, maybe we can just use it in detail. Um, he's working out, guys. He's he's trying to trim down, make it do what it do, and uh, I'm proud of him. Too. So we got to be proud of both of them today because uh, they were showing me grown up material stuff, you know, and he was actually running, or, you know, jogging a little bit. It wasn't that fast type running like he thought he was Rocky Balboa back in the Rocky days that he was trying to go fight somebody for notoriety or some sort of put himself uh, up there high. I regard higher than him. But uh, Portia's doing also amazing things with her hair. You know, I haven't caught her or haven't caught uh, one of her shows where she's doing that Amazon Live thing. It must be in their contract or something because Candy's doing the same shit. Um, but I ain't have time. But, you know, of course, when Portia had that Family Matters, uh, whatever it was, blended families, I did not know her aunt was actually uh, wearing her wigs as well. So she's one of uh, uh, Portia's, uh, not sponsor, but Portia having her model her wigs. And I don't know what Father Time doing over there calling himself, uh, what do you call it, fixing on a chair. But again, you know, got three stories going into this one, which uh, it's, it's pretty good. I never did it before like that, but I never put it, my video clip get messed up like that. I should tell my daughter to check my, my display thing because I don't know why I can't see them. They're kind of little. And it, it's hard to be picking up. It, but that's my bad. I don't do something. Don't know what I did, but it, it is what it is. We're gonna work with it, people. We're gonna work with it, family. We're gonna work with it. But yeah, these are her ambassadors that she have set aside. Uh, and I'm hoping she gives these weeks to them to promote them on the show. Uh, I don't know where this young lady comes from. Her name is Crystal Smith, though. But I'm loving because I really thought there was her hair. But when I was just going through some things, I said, "Oh, okay, that's somebody." Of course, she got to her hair. She want her ambassadors and get her more accustomed that way. Then we got Father Time over there. You see, he's trying to fix on and you see that? That thing look too brand new. You know that Joker ain't doing shit. I was like, now Simon, you were doing good at once. Now you're trying to make me believe you fix it on a chair. That that little fixer uh, bag you got, that look like brand new stuff. But anyway, we got Drew Sedora out there. I don't know who this young lady is representing Go Naked Hair. Um, Y'all have to tell me. Uh, you know, I read her reviews. They seem to be good, but, you know, I don't know. Y'all get down in the comments. If y'all purchase her hair, you can just do a, 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 a review on it, okay? But uh, I did not know, like I said, her aunt Elizabeth was, uh, when she was filming with Portia's Family Matters, she was also wearing the hair. So that's a good good idea, Portia. Good idea. Get these people that are on shows to endorse your hair products. Know, get them a little cut or something for wearing the hair. Then you can get some more deals like that. I mean, you might need to talk to Tyler Perry and see what he can do because he sure be having them women, black women especially, they wigs and we be tore up on the floor. Up. So I think you should go over there and pitch an idea to him about being um, his hair products. Uh, you can get them from you 
you would be his uh what do you call it inventory specialist or you, know, you would be his contact to go and buy you know buy bulk or whatever hair for his ladies that actually um are in his shows his plays and whatnot so we need to put that portion we need to put that computer portion book down hopefully you don't gave all of them away or something to that degree but that was just a hot mess that was hot mess book girl and it ain't doing no favors for you but it ain't bad as your show was but it is it's what it is and we got mom over there acting like she's in her 20s again sporting out hair uh, but we don't really see her that much in the streets. So I think she's just her mama is pose, but older gentleman. You know what I'm saying? Like you can look fresh, you can look fly. But you gonna get some of this bow naked hair. All right, <laughs> I rhymed out a little bit, don't y'all? But anyway, these are uh, she's showing the different textures of hair that she has in her inventory. Um, and I think okay, that must have been Qual. I saw her name on this. I must have got that that last uh that last. We got pictures of the quad, I do believe. But of course, you know, that's Lauren, her sister. But I could see why, and people were even saying it uh, in comments uh, when I was just looking at other people's YouTube videos about, um, I guess she had a creek of curl in the thing. That's what Lauren wearing. Hmm, that's cute. I like the color. And that's Drew again. But um, Drew been looking fresh with her hair. And that's because Drew on the Real Housewives of Atlanta has been wearing Portia hair. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Shamia wears her hair as well. So if y'all see them looking uh, fly and fancy and shiny with that glossy hair, honey, that's Portia. Yeah, that's Portia Williams hair that she's selling called Go Naked Hair. All right, she says it's fire. It looks fire, but I'm, I'm like I said, I don't know. And then we got her baby girl cousin Storm. Wearing the curly look as well, flossing the hair, the hair textures. And that's her cousin Lonnie. Um, she's wearing a wavy look hair. But as you can see, it looks good on just about every skin type, every body type. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And Drew, I know she's been wearing the hair, honey. I like her. Uh, I hope Drew can use some clients as well, too, for sure. Because I think you probably gave them all out. So, I guess, you know, there are your walking billboards, uh, I guess you could say. Yeah, all of them have it going on. All of them have it going on. It looks good. Like I said, I didn't really notice that until I got into some of our portion past pictures. That's all right. But again, like I said, we've got Father Time out there exercising again. And he's showing and proving and he's getting his exercise on. I don't know who's recording him doing this. Um, but it, it looked a little bit more believable than the last little workout he had. Which I don't understand why he puts his workout videos for the masses to view. Uh, like I said, that's not really CEO type movements, I would say. Because CEOs that are part of companies, they're usually at a place uh, if they want to be seen, which not nine times a ten, they don't. <coughs> they be at the actual gym and stuff. Or they had a gym in, at their office where they work, and we haven't seen it. But we got Portia here also with that ugly face. And some people look like that for real. You know what I'm saying? And she's sitting up there with her I guess, on her reel with her phone and doing these different um, facial expressions. And I didn't like that. I meant to tell, uh, I didn't to do a long video on it, but I didn't really feel like I didn't really feel like, but that was stupid as hell for us to take the picture and store it in your face like that. Now, what if your face really was like that, Portia? You'll be crying for days. You'll be crying for days. Probably wouldn't even want to live and all that kind of stuff going on. So you should not be making fun of those type of pictures. That's just piss poor adult. Or this childishness that's going on. But um, yeah. Those are her ambassadors. She's they're wearing it well. Hopefully, like I say, Portia's gifting them the hair. Uh I hope she ain't making them pay for it. That would be piss poor business dealings, Portia. Piss poor dealings. Business dealings. 
But yeah, I don't know why Father Time was over there fixing on a chair unless he bought the furniture from IKEA or something, or the stage from uh the stage furniture that came from I IKEA. I'm like, Simon, did you uh sit in a chair and it, it cracked or something? But baby, you, you don't need to fix it. You need another whole chair. You see what I'm saying? And, uh, can y'all tell me do you, with that kind of a chair, is is it removable? I mean, I've had similar chairs like that. Mine was like burgundy and it was like floral and it had a high back wing to it. And when we were putting it together, it was the legs that were messing up or coming or loose. We, we didn't have no damn business of uh, trying to fix the chair. We kind of nigger rigged it, you know what I'm saying? Putting our own little devices together and bringing it up with, you know, whatever we could find. <laughs> But the per the place that we had bought it from, they didn't assemble, you know. So me and my cousin thought we were doing a job, and he, you know, he just fixed it. And then I wasn't bigger as who I, I am now back then. I was like, man, this thing is rocking. This shit don't gonna be rocking. It ain't rocking in the little store and uh showroom floor. It won't rock. It's like, well, maybe yours a little bit defective, but we we gotta uh. I got to go home. <laughs> I'm like, you don't throw shit up. It's what you don't need. And we sit and laugh about that chair. Because we still got that chair. We won't let, they just, they won't let nobody sit in unless they're a baby or they weigh less than 90 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Because other than that, you don't, you don't got a break and fall on to the floor. But I'm like, the Simon, I'm not understanding. Did you sit in that chair or somebody bigger than you sat in that chair uh, and it crushed it? Was it Diane when she was heavy? Uh, did she break that chair? It's usually a chair though. Don't really break or come loose. So, but you got got by buying that sage furniture and that shit tearing up. Don't ride it and piss the shit in it. How my mom done said when she don't like old stuff. Uh, she can say everybody don't live in it, don't piss and shit it in it. And now you want to give it to me? Hell no. She used to say that a long time ago. <laughs> Ooh, my mom got jokes for days and she don't even be trying to be funny. She just be speaking her mind. I guess I got it from her girl. I got I guess fam I got it from her. But uh yeah, that's all I wanted to say about this video since you know a lot of people say you don't like or you don't do that. Well it's hard to uh like Porsche to certain degrees, you know what I'm saying? Because she do shitty stuff. And when she does shitty stuff, I have to come out and tell her about it. I really must come out. Because ain't nobody else seem like they want to come out and tell them. Start acting like a fool. Start acting like a child. Act like a grown-up and do grown-up things well. Okay? That's all That's all we want her to do. So, I'm giving her free publicity on my uh, channel. Hopefully, she'll appreciate it or whatever. But when she does piss poor stuff, yes, I will come on here. No, it ain't my damn business. But guess what? I'm being nosy as hell. When I see something I don't like, I am going to talk about it. That's why I got my own platform. That's what I do. Okay, when I got time to do it, that's what I do. If you don't like it, just don't click on. Because every time you click on it, I'm going to be talking about somebody, okay? I'm going to be giving my opinion. Because they put shit out there, it gives me the right to talk about it. Okay? So, but it just is what it is. You're going to always have people come over and say this, that, and the third. And like I say, sometimes I entertain them, and sometimes I just get my blog game on. I don't say shit, I just erase what they put. Okay? It's so easy for me. It's hard for them, but it's easy for me. A block them, put my, you know, like I'm having a block party. Having a block party today, that's all I gotta say. About the time I get to them comments and I see something that's not kosher and you're not acting right, nah, you're gone, you're gone. Then you have to go on, on another name, get back in, and try to get where you fit in, but you don't fit in, okay? That's all I have for this video, guys. A little Portia, you know, trying to sell her to go naked hair and using these beautiful women to sponsor. Well, not sponsored, but to advertise for her. Like I said, go to Tyler Perry. Go to any production company out there. Just like Marlo is trying to get in with um, entertainers that are needing clothing wear that's expensive. But they just want to rent. Same thing with you, Portia. Go out there. Um, see who you can talk to about getting your hair marketed globally. Like in Africa or whatnot. Uh, another continent, because uh, Rihanna doing it, honey, she doing it big, she breaking down walls, okay, and gonna be a zillionaire, if that's really even a word, because uh, Father Time is not helping her, it's supposed to be a team running, you know, uh, plays for each other, okay, she's putting him on by letting him be seen as she's trying to grow, 
but of course she's going and you know it's all the way around. you know she's going everywhere but it's not the right way you know what i'm saying and you know her putting that old crazy picture up here like she's messing with filters or whatnot that's not grown folks activity we don't do shit we ain't got time for that we trying to figure out how we can keep our family intact and, and, and well preserved go out there get that money bring it back enjoy it save some of it all that kind of stuff she doing some shit like this See, this shit i can't get with when she does stuff like that that's childish that's childish mentality and see that's why she don't go old smoothly with her dad's side of the family, her aunt. Because she's still, she's still, I mean, when you get grown, you put childish things away, eh? Hey, okay, get me. I mean, she know the Bible. She know the rules and the regulations. She just ain't following them right now. But I don't, like I said, I don't know what Father Time over there doing. I guess he sat there and it cracked, and now he feel like he got to fix it. No, you need a whole nother chair, brother. You need another whole chair. Go to Ikea, go to Ashley Furniture. Um, hell, I don't know. You seem like you want to buy everything rich and, but I don't know because you didn't want to buy them. But did you not have no furniture for the over the house that you would have brought over? But was that stage furniture to you? See, all that stage furniture, it could have been there for a while that they put in warehouses until they're ready to showcase another home. You see what I'm saying? So you really bought damaged goods in a sense. But you know, it is what it is. But like I said, that little bag you had, Simon. That little bag you had, brother. <laughs> it looked brand new. I was searching to see if I could find a tag on it. But I'm like, you're doing too much. You saw, you already supposed to have the basics, baby. You already supposed to have the basics. And that, that little toolkit, that even hammer look like it's brand new. Like, boy, it's time for you to sit your ass down and go hire somebody. Go call you a handyman before you mess up something even worse. But like I said, if you're trying to fix on a leg of them chairs, nine times ten, if somebody sat in there that was a little bit overweight, that shit cracked. You can't use no duct tape. You can't use no super glue or no gorilla glue. Just go on and get you another chair, bro. Just get another chair and call it a night. All right? But that's all I got, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.